sa atin. Ang hiling nila mag-shortcut. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a self-professed professional quantum man. You know, every chance I get na pwede mo mag-shesta, matutulog ako. Like in small towns in Spain, they still close at 3 p.m. and they open again at 6 p.m. Why? Because they go home, they have too much to drink, which is delicious, they pass out, and then, oops, we have to go back to the store again. So, the attitude alone for me is, is so familiar. And the food, more familiar. And not to mention the value. Like when I say it's incredibly affordable, it really is incredibly affordable. And for what you're paying, it's so delicious. So on this one trip, I was in Rioja, which is the wine region very close to the north. Okay. You know, I think they, they make, according to them, they make about I mean, 60 million bottles a year. I don't know if that was a tall order, but sure. You know, I was too happy and had my fourth glass by then. I believed everything. This was one of those dishes that we gave in the summer that was very memorable. And I, and I had this when I was growing up, but I didn't know what it was called. I think it was called something like Buri Soup for Us. It's actually called Patatas Riojana. And this is a very simple to do. And like I said, what I want you to experience today is something that you can do yourselves here. I'm not giving you ingredients that are hard to find. You just need to start with olive oil. You don't need extra virgin. If you're going to fry, saute, cook, you use your olive oil. If you're going to add a little dash of flavor on a salad, on a roasted fish, you use extra virgin. Sayang lang kasi yung bouquet na, yung amoy na olive oil pag naluluto. Although, kung mayaman ka at ang dami dami ng pera, I am not stopping you. Please, enjoy yourself. Why not? The best of everything. Let's start off with onions. Ito yung tinuturo namin pala tingin na, you know, as, as mga kusineros. Onions, Pag-iisa, talagang kailangan kunahin ang sibuyas, hindi bawang, papel. Very good. Well done. Yes. Also, a little tip. When you're doing this with onions, add a little salt. A little salt when you're sauteing your onions. Because the salt will help draw out the moisture, enhance the sugar, caramelize the onion more. And what does happen? And what happens when that when you do that? You get more flavor. Right. Garlic. Chopped garlic. Ah, wala ya. Wala. Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin. Si Lawrence may rin. Hindi siya. Tika, sibuyas, and bawang. When I was living alone, I used to have this in, you know, in a Tupperware that I would cook once a week. Ready na siya, and it's for it and I can chill. So I need to cook something, because this takes a little bit of time. Just get the jar, get two tablespoons, drop it in. Add your meat, add whatever you need. I will add uh, the chorizo. Okay, this chorizo is uh, not to promote them, but you know where I get my chorizo. I get my chorizo from Alpha. So this is the chorizo. It's from uh, sa kanila, may technique pa ang ginagawa. You get your chorizo, but if you slice it derecho, it's going to mag-uwa ka siya. So what we do is we steam it first. And then we chill it, and then it's more delicious. And from there, we can pop this in your mouth, fry it in olive oil for breakfast. Then after you fry the olive oil, you fry the egg. And after you fry the egg, you add garlic, then you add your rice. So you have chorizo for it. Fantastic. Oh, oh, and then all of the matita is in you, and you know, you are happy for a good lunch. <laughs> What happens to the oil here also is that because of the content of the paprika, the smoke, the paprika or pimenton, it will stain the oil. Like what you see when you cook it into your chorizo, into your uh, fried rice. Alright, just to 
sweep back a little bit. This is how the finished product looks. And nice. Ta-da! I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to take a picture of it. 